Hello dear students today we will be discussing about the phenomenon called dinandromorphism in this presentation This is the plan of my presentation where we will be seeing about what are dinandromorphs their type how dinanders are produced and what if a chromosome is lost and finally what is meant by pi by nucleated egg Gynandromorphs are the individuals which show male characters on some parts of the body and female characters on other parts of the body. They are also called gynanders and they are seem to be rare in nature. They occur in Drosophila, butterflies, beetles, wasps, bees and silkworms. There are three types of gynanders: bilateral gynander anterior posterior gynander and sex pibals bilateral gynanders where these have male traits on one lateral side of the body and female traits on the other lateral side of the body example drosophila anterior posterior gynanders are the individuals which have features of one sex on the anterior half of the body and those of the other sex on the posterior half of the body for example beetles the third category is said to be sex pibals where these gynanders have mixtures of male and female tissues in their body gynandromorphism is produced in two ways number 1 is the loss of x chromosome number 2 is said to be the binucleated egg condition in the first type the loss of x chromosomes where a gynander begins its development with 2n autosomes plus double x chromosomes but in the course of cell division an x chromosome gets lost from one of the products of the cell division so one daughter cell has 2n of autosomes plus one single x chromosomes and the other with 2n of autosomes plus one single x chromosome in case this should happen during the first zygotic division two blastomeres with an equal number of x chromosomes are formed the blastomeres with 2n of autosomes plus 2 x chromosomes develops into female half while the second blastomere with 2n of autosomes plus single x chromosomes produces male half in the second category where the formation of binucleated eggs this mechanism was first explained by goldsmith in silkworm moth in silkworms females are said to be having xy chromosomes and males are said to be having double x chromosomes during oogenesis process the x and y chromosomes normally separate one passing into egg and the other into the polar body sometimes both the nuclei are present in the egg and the binucleate egg with the double x chromosome as well as xy chromosome is produced the binucleate egg may be fertilized by two sperms each fertilizing one egg, egg nucleus after fertilization and cleavage one blastomere with double x chromosome develops into male parts and the other blastomere with xy chromosome develops into female parts so this is how in nature the gynanders are formed i hope i have explained you in an easy way thank you